way. So right now I'm making my oatmeal. I have some milk. Excuse my voice, I literally just woke up and I have a face mask on, so that's why I sound like that. But I am just heating up my milk for my oatmeal and I'll show you guys like what I'm gonna put in it. I'm also gonna be having some of this matcha. This is my favorite matcha green tea mix. It's probably not as healthy as like regular, you know, homemade matcha, but I don't really know how to make that yet. So I love this, it's from Trader Joe's. I definitely like my oatmeal to be on the more runny side of things so i'm just gonna let this get to the right consistency And to sweeten this, I'm gonna just take some coffee creamer. This is my favorite, just some vanilla creamer. This is my oatmeal. I'm adding in some dates. This is three dates, a banana, and then I'm also adding some vanilla Greek yogurt. I didn't really add sugar to this because all of this stuff is pretty sweet, so I'm gonna add that in my oatmeal now. So this is my breakfast it's not as pretty but um, it's really really good and usually I would add like chia seeds or something but I just don't really want them in there today I usually drink about two of these in the morning and I go through about five a day which is a gallon so I'm gonna try to down two of those but it's easier for me to drink my water after I eat so that's why I have this so yeah this is breakfast I am pretty much almost done my food, watching some YouTube. I'm gonna take my prenatal. These are the ones I take. I've shown you guys these before. They're by Ritual. So it is now lunchtime. I am about to make myself a salad and a sandwich. So I already have my lettuce here. I'm gonna use some cucumber and some red pepper. And here I have some smoked turkey. I know it looks kind of like gross, but that's because it's cold. So I'm gonna warm this up and put this on a sandwich. This turkey is actually from the Amish market. My mom brought me like a whole bunch of it. It's so freaking good, you guys. It tastes like bacon. I have this soft bagel. It's a whole wheat bagel that I'm gonna put the turkey on and eat that with the salad. I'm gonna add a little bit of this green onion, you guys, fun fact. I didn't know this, but if you have a green onion like from the store and you use it and stick it in a cup of water, it will regrow. So this is like the fifth time this has regrown. I used it last night, so that's why it's still a little bit short. But last night, this literally was gone. That's just a trick, if you guys have green onion, you can literally get, I don't even know how many uses out of it. You guys can see how like old and crinkly this is. I'm gonna toast my bagel. These, I'm gonna peel these and put these in the freezer for smoothies, so that's why these are right here. This is how my salad is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salad dressing. This is just some Thousand Island salad dressing. It's not my favorite, but it's really all I have right now. I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, literally like that much. The salad dressing. I almost forgot I added some of my green onion that I just showed you guys right on top, just for a little flavor. And then we're just gonna mix it up. Mix everything together. I'm adding a little bit of lemon juice 
I just like all my food really lemony, especially my salads. Okay, so this is my lunch. It's not the most uh, pretty, but it's just my salad and then I stuck my sandwich right in the bowl with the salad. I don't need a whole separate plate for that. The dish is already piling up. So I'm just having it like this and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna drink with this. I'm gonna make a little uh, juice mixture. I'm going to have some of this red tart cherry juice. Um, I actually just got a root canal yesterday and um, red tart cherry juice is really good for inflammation and my tooth has just been a little sore. If you guys have gotten a root canal before you know that like it's a little bit sore the day after so this um, helps with inflammation and it has a lot of other benefits and because it's not so tasty I'm gonna add a little bit of this lemonade just so I can like <laughs> stomach it because it's literally just 100% juice there's no sugar it doesn't taste good so that's what I'm gonna mix there's my bump you guys can't see my face right now because I didn't feel like putting on a scarf but this is how my bump is looking. She's feeling super huge today. Okay, focus. That's really interesting tasting. I just took a sip. It doesn't taste the best, but I'm really drinking it for the benefits of the cherry juice, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go drink a whole bunch of water with this meal. So me and my sister decided to go get some bubble tea. I am obsessed with bubble tea. We got our tea and I also got this delicious matcha waffle that they have. This place is really, really good. dinner I decided to make some salmon and some veggies super simple I'm taking these seasonings I'm starting with some grapeseed oil just to get like a nice crisp on my salmon lemon pepper garlic powder onion powder this umami seasoning blend pepper some smoked red onion and some salt I love lemon on my fish as well. So I'm putting some lemon and popping that in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400. I have my zucchini in the pan and I'm going to lightly season it with some liquid aminos, a little bit of garlic, this is minced garlic, grapeseed oil, just a tad, and some black pepper. And these were actually really, really good. I like my zucchini soggy. I know that might sound gross, but I just like it a little bit soft. So I'm just going to turn the heat on low and put the top on and let it get really nice and soft. And while I waited for this to cook, I ate a plum. This is how my fish turned out. It was really, really good. This is my dinner, just the fish, the zucchini, and I have a half of a sweet potato. I have some cinnamon on top of that and a little bit of butter, and this was my dinner. Not long after this, Adam got home from work and he said he wanted a salad, so I made him a salad with just some cucumber, tomato, a little bit of dill, and I stuck the fish on top and he likes sweet potato in his salad, so I just put that on the side and this was his dinner. For dessert, I had a cupcake. These are from Codetta Bake Shop. It's a black owned bakery in the DMV area. If you guys live in the DMV area, I highly recommend. These are so amazing. If you like what I eat in a day videos, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up so I know I can definitely make more because they're really easy to make and I will see you guys in my next video.